Hello guys and welcome back. My name is Kwan. Today we are doing a love tarot reading on Capricorns. Capricorns, what's up, what's up, what's up? I hope everyone is well, having a great day, feeling amazing, looking amazing. So we have a couple cards here that I've shuffled already to pick up on your energies, to see what's going on, a bigger scope. So let me tap right in. So first card, we have five of swords, conflict, deception, being selfish, ace of wands, passionate, motivation, creativity, two of cups, union, partnership, mature, love, ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, family, we have the temperance card, patience, balance, harmony. So I'm feeling a lot of independence here, a lot of self-worth, but I'm also feeling a low vibration, okay? So a bit of unwantedness, sadness here I'm picking up on. Okay, so, so I'm getting your feeling a little bit sad about a specific person or dealing with a specific situation that leads to disappointment. So with the imprints card, we have patience, balance, harmony, right? So you could be losing faith and hope in this person so there's some kind of toxic shit some kind of neg negativity right this could be someone's ego someone's a lower part of themselves so communication might not be how it was before it's lacking and you're feeling like you're feeling sad because you don't know what to do next guys i'm here for counseling please book me please check the, de the description box and let me help you guys so you're grounded you're balanced and you're ready for whatever uh, life throws at you next so communication might not be where you want it to be or it might not be so significant than it was dealing with a specific person. Someone needs to get their priorities together. And you're not talking to this person or someone's not talking to you because it's not the same, right? So this is the time where you need to book me guys so we can focus on self. This is the time guys, this is the perfect timing. Book me for counseling, let's work on self love. I can give you the programs and the tools dealing with these energies, this toxicity, these emo these amazing programs, they, they will help you to become an impress moving forward. So check the description box guys, okay? Check the description box. And you will also get a free image reading as well. So that's amazing, okay? So guys, so someone is taking action. This could be you, okay? This could be you, this could be your person. Someone's taking action without thinking and it's leading them in shit. It's making them feel unwanted, sad. And you're struggling with this, right? You're, you're struggling with this twin flame journey and your connection. It's 
So I, I, I can help you, right? So there won't be no more self-sabotaging, no more consequences moving forward. Reach out to me, guys. Reach out to me. So, someone could be feeling sad right now. It's hurtful. I'm here to help. It won't happen overnight. Watching tarot readings will only give you so much fulfillment. You need to book me so we can put in the work. Because these energies are only feeding off you because you are not putting in the work. You may be getting the wrong advice. Here's where you get the right advice. So you can be grounded before taking any, any action moving forward. Because I feel like you're losing love, faith, daily. Okay? Sitting around not putting in the work. You are being patient, okay, but you're, but you're working out, okay, so you're working out of the lower vibrations of self, because things are going left, things are not going according to plan, which things don't, but that's okay, it gives you time for us to work together. I feel like you've invested in this and you're not you're not seeing results. So mentally, right guys, mentally you could be overthinking. You're not coming out of a good space. You're not you're not thinking with a clear mind. You're just overdoing it. Asking yourself, what are you asking yourself? What is my collective asking the universe? What is my collective asking the universe? So we have Ten of Cups, Financial Success and Stability, Ten of Pentacles. So you could be asking the universe, why won't, why won't love change? Why won't this love, a particular love change or just love in general change? Right? So, and you're not getting results, right? You're not getting results. You're asking, you know, when is love going to change? It's when you put in the work. It's when you book me for counseling so I can guide you step by step how to become an empress and to be prepared for love. So it won't be, when is love going to change? It will be, thank you for bringing love into my life. That's the mentality that we need to strive on moving forward. So you can defeat these voices and obstacles. I'm picking up on bad intentions are being thrown at you for no according reason. And you 
know these people are lying to you, trying to start some kind of conflict with you, trying to just start shit with you. So that's manipulation, right? So, okay, so your person could be, you know, living their life, crushing their hours, putting in overtime, just trying to become a better person slowly. Your person could be waiting on you to become more independently stronger, mentally stronger. And you may be waiting for them to get their uh, finances together and their principles together. Or for them to uh, like snap back into reality, out of a situation. With the Ten of Pentacles here, financial success and stability. You could be waiting for this person, a person, to financially be in a better place. But you also need to put the work in. And this is where I come in to help you guys. So you are waiting for them to snap back into reality out of a situation they're currently in or trying to come out of and they are struggling. They are struggling with this and you can see this. You can feel this. So, financial stability. You guys could be doing fine in that section. Take it how it resonates. You could have you could have multiple options being thrown your way to get more income. And your person is struggling in that area in their life. They may not be getting as much as as much opportunities as you are. Or they may struggle to keep a job or can't find a job. And this is not, this is because they're still in this fairy tale state of mind where they think they can just block someone's number and move on but they actually have to stand in their power and let people know what they're not dealing with anymore. And I feel like Capricorns, you guys are so used to that, it's, it's, it's easy to cut someone off and be done once you've made your mind up, but your person could be struggling with this. This could be a, um, a issue that they know that they need to work on and they are trying to, but first they're trying to get their... Um, their finances in order. That's why you're being patient. But at the same time, you're not putting in the work. You may be just like, okay, taking it day by day. Results won't come like that. Results will only come when you put the work in, guys. Reach out to me. I'm doing counseling. You get a free image reading and I will also do a tarot reading for you as well. So, snap back out of reality. Okay. So, if this person is moving too slow or things are not going your way, you will give up on this connection, on this 
Twin Flame Journey prior to disappointment you will give up and that's coming out of a low vibration right this is the low vibration that I'm feeling from this uh, from you guys Capricorns so is this person this connection already disappearing is it disappearing is someone disappearing and you don't understand why you kind of get the drift of it but you don't understand truly why this is happening this is why you are asking when will love change when you put the work in set up boundaries book me reach out to me Because you want to make this right with this person, okay? You do. You want to make this right. But you're looking at th you're looking at this differently. You're trying to understand patience. And you're it's like you're ready to fight for this. You're ready to fight for love true love so your guard could be up dealing with a person who you truly have a connection with but you're losing faith because things are going too slow and you don't know what to say or do next you're feeling stuck So, taking the right actions. That's where this leads to. This, this is what you need to do now. Is take the right actions. And allow me to tap in. And help you guys. Taking the right action. Okay, because you could be in two minds about two people. Take it how it resonates, but you could be in two minds. Because you haven't been working on true self-love. You haven't been getting the right advice. There's effort being put on the table. There's been effort that's been put in to this situation but it's a feeling of you know in and out ups and downs u-turns you know there's a lot of up and down energy consistently being a victim mentally like you're trying to stay strong because you see this, you see this person, this situation as long term. With a person that you know that is doing well for themselves, that is, you know, you see their powers, they've always been strong mentally, good financially. When you first met this person, they may have been, you know, not so, you know, determined to get what they want. You know, they may have been a little bit of, you know, maybe a little lazy, you know, drinking a lot, smoking a lot. They just weren't, they didn't know where they wanted to go in life. They had the looks, they had, you know, the power, the stability, the financial um, stability, but they was lacking ambition. They wasn't grounded, but now this is why you're in two minds about this person, okay? Because you are starting to see change. But it might not be the change that you are asking for. 
it might be there might they might be feeling okay they might be um you know trying to you know work on themselves but it's taking too long and the connection the communication is not how it was it's not so you're losing faith right you're losing hope okay i'm gonna pull another card here so we have five of cups regret loss remorse disappointed are you disappointed through their actions or yours are you disappointed within yourself because of things that you said out of anger out of frustration because you felt alone this is where i come in guys to give you your empress power to help you stand in your power so you don't make these mistakes moving forward you will project what you are if someone is, if a connection is uh, disappearing, if the love is disappearing, if the fulfillment is disappearing, it's because you, my friends, are coming out of a low vibration. And you need to take action. Watching tarot readings will only give you so much. Okay, you need to put the work in. You need to put the work in. At the bottom of the pile, we have the lover's card. Union, a choice, connection. Union will take place when you put the work in. A choice to give up or to walk away and the connection between you and your person. A union will not happen if you guys are not putting in the work, okay? It will not happen. Or it will happen because you're amazing Capricorns but it won't last it may be temporary okay <laughs> a message regarding opportunity okay page of pentacles bottom of the pile this is your message to you. My message to you is opportunity. That's what my message is. This is what this card is. It's a message from me to you to take opportunity to book me for counseling so I can help you guys to get into this union. Okay. You're losing faith. You're losing hope. But that's a choice of yours. Okay, coming out of a low vibration, not getting the right advice, not taking the right actions. You may have a lot of people, okay, this could be, take it how it resonates, it could be family, it could be friends, ex, ex, exes, but a lot of people don't want you to feel what you want. That's fulfillment, that's trust, that's communication, uh, commitment, right? Loved. A lot of people want you to feel lost feel unloved, feel unwanted. 
and you're being pulled into this energy and that's why you're coming out of this low vibration because with the eight uh, ace of wands you are passionate you are motivation right you do feel motivation you are a creativity person you like to create things you like to do things you like to come up with new ideas But maybe because the people around you, maybe maybe you uh, was, was raised in a broken home or a lot of your social circle don't have what you are trying to manifest. So you need to be, so being around these, can I say broken social social circle is not helping you whatsoever because you are only feeding off their vibrations so they want you to feel like them and to them that could be love that could be friendship that could be you know but it's not so you need to look around And figure out why you are not receiving what you are asking for. Okay? It's like being in a hot country, being in Dubai, waiting, it, waiting for it to snow. And everyone around you is, is, is sunbathing, you know... Bikinis, you know, swimwear, surfing with dolphins. And you're like, when is it going to snow? When is it going to snow? It's not. You have to put the action in. You have to find out um, where you are, who you're around, and where you need to go and what you need to do. So instead of asking, why isn't love here? Why isn't love changing? It will become, thank you for bringing love into my life. Thank you for uh, guiding me, right? And making me see the people and the environment around me. Okay. Because if you put the work in and you listen to my message that was for you through this video, you will have the happily ever after. But if you remain, okay, if you remain coming out of this low vibration, this emotional manipulation, it will creep back up. And this, this could be around kids, this connection, your connection, your situation. So you need to stop from bring it, bringing that into your future. From the people around you, true friends, a true family, who's got your back. Because someone something new is coming into your life you may already know your person who your person is okay that person could already be in your life you could be on your twin flame journey right now but you're confused you're coming out of a low vibration you're feeling unwanted you're feeling sad and you don't understand why. It's because you're not putting in the work. So someone new or someone who's already in your life will come back, I'm seeing, and this person will want to talk. Someone will want to talk to you. 
but are you ready you may be like yeah i'm ready i've been doing i don't know <laughs> and then when that comes you will come out of this insecurity this um you will still be in your low vibration so after that um communication appears you still may be frustrated because you didn't put the work in you got and received what you was asking for and you still didn't put the work in so you're back to square one this is where i'm here to help you guys so this doesn't happen again so you can become into union and stay in union book me for counseling guys book me book me book me okay i'd love to help you guys i can help you guys and this is my message to you so we can get out of this depression from coming back into your life or coming into your future because I want you to be happy moving forward. The people who disappointed you, the people who don't see your energy, the people who don't see your light, they're the ones that are struggling too. You want to be a king? No, you want to be an empress your person may be a king maybe okay a queen but not an empress that's where you come in that's where we come in so you are prepared for all for everything you're prepared you have all the tools, you will have the programs, you will be strongly, um, you will mentally be stronger. The energy, the cycles will only project what you are. They will only reflect what you are, what you are becoming. So the people that come into your life, this new um, blessing that's coming your way, it all depends on you. How far are you willing to go to secure this connection? I strongly feel like you know there may be okay you may have multiple people in your life okay you know how to manifest you know how to get someone to you know um to see you to hear you okay but you could be in two minds you could be in two minds about someone Okay, someone you love, someone who you know has always had your back. Right? But you're struggling because they might not, because you feel like they are doing X, Y, and Z over there. Okay? And you're over here doing nothing about your connection but waiting and asking yes you can manifest someone back into your life but can you keep your person god will give you another go around okay he will give you another go around but are you strong enough to say okay when this is when this comes into union when you and your person comes into union or a specific person, am I strong enough to start again? Do I have the tools to start again? 
guys if you are struggling please reach out to me so the next time you guys come into union it will be permanent not temporary the toxicity will wash away the manipulation will go away the sadness the unwantedness that you feel will disappear and that's what you think about this connection that the, your connection you're in it's disappearing You have a choice, you have a choice to stop these cycles of, of arguments and, and lead into saying things that you wish you didn't say because you was pressured, coming out of your low vibration, not working on self-love, not getting the right advice. This is my message to you guys. Take a stand. Take a stand for what you want. Take a stand for the person in your life who is meant to be in your life for the right reasons. You may have a lot of karmics in your life who pull you down, who only want to have sex, who only want to... Um, financially um, drain your pockets you could be dealing with someone who's very insecure always needs validation that is someone that is within you you project what you are time to take a stand moving forward okay if you are Thinking about a specific person, guys, okay? You are struggling to open up to someone and tell them how you feel, okay? you. Um, we're just going to pull some cards here and see what someone, what your person wants to tell you, Capricorns, okay? I hope everyone's doing well today. self-love yeah <laughs> capricorns what's up what's up what's up hope everyone is cushy okay so we have sorry guys i hope you guys can see that uh you are my star that outshines all the others so this person knows your powers this person knows they can see your light. It's only you that's denying your light. Only you are blocking yourself from not working on yourself. Okay. Being with you reminds me of home. Guys. There's something about you. You've always known this. I feel like when people around you, they love it. They love your, they love when you show up, but they hate when you leave. So that could also bring toxicity into your life because people don't like for you to win. Friendships can also mean, okay, I'm your best friend, but you're not going to be more successful than me. We're going to be on the same level. What? What? Do you want to run that past me again? <laughs> okay. I do check up on you. So this person could check up on your social media, you know, things like that. If you are a, you know, a, a world traveler, you know, or anything, they just like to check up on you from time to time, send you good vibes. But you should be able to feel that, you know, you should be able to feel that, um, take it how it resonates. I never meant to hurt you because you're amazing Capricorns people don't mean to hurt you but because you are allowing people to project 
how you feel not being in your power that's what you will receive moving forward that's why i'm here to tell you my message is to book me guys if you are struggling i have always loved you i'm sure they fucking have because you are amazing just by you showing up you are the strongest in the room when you walk into a room everyone knows okay that's the alpha that's the empress you are a very interesting person it's like when you jump on a bus or jump on a train it could be a cab whoever's driving the driver right they know that you are a passenger and they drive slower they drive more safe they're more alert you bring more awareness into people's lives just from and they don't even know you all they have to do is look at you and they think wow who's this interesting person i want to sit closer to this, to this person i want to talk to this person Because that's your light, that's your power. So if you are coming out of a low vibration, what do you think is going to happen? These people that are in your life or coming into your life will realise that you are not an empress as you look like. Because you are denying yourself by not standing in your power. And this is where the disappointment will come back into and the uh, manipulation and the toxicity will creep back in if you do not put the action in, if you do not put the work in. I do see myself settling down with you. I do see myself settling down with you. Everyone sees themselves settling down with you. Everyone sees commitment with you friendship with you but how does that how does that end how do these cycles always end is it always disappointment is your friends your your social uh circle getting smaller Are you having friendly conversations with people, random people, anymore? Are you changing your, your morning routines? Are you feeling a bit depressed? Are you in this sad mentality, this hurtful mentality, this confusion maze? I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help you guys. So that's the main energies that I'm getting, okay? You're holding yourself back, you're not standing in your power, and you're ne you're neglecting your gifts to fit in. I'm seeing and when it comes to a connection you are self sabotaging this connection because you are reflecting and projecting your environment your social your social circle So yes, you may be saying, you may be asking, manifesting someone to snap up, snap back out of reality, but you also need to do this. You also need to put the work in. Because this union is happening. This union will happen. But are you ready?
not without self-love, not without taking responsibility, not without taking the action to reach out to me so I can help you guys. So yeah, that's the main energies, guys. Um, I hope this helped. I hope you can. Uh, I hope it resonates. Try not to make it fit. If it doesn't, if it does, you know, don't forget to flip it. You know, if I say her or him, you know. But yeah, um, please book me for counselling. You also get a free image reading from my mum and a tarot reading from me. So yeah. Hope everyone is cushy. Have an amazing day. Love and blessings. Bye, guys.